I always wanted to be a dancer. I focused more on making dances and choreography than on recitals and things like that. And I think that's what really captured my imagination. And I just always wanted to be a dancer. It's all I wanted to do. Um, I moved to New York. I moved around a lot, actually. I went to New York, and then I said, oh, I should go to school, and then I went back to New York, and then I had a boyfriend, and all those things. But in any event, um, I ended up really, really staying in New York and focusing on my dancing. I couldn't stop being a dancer, so then I started working in universities. And at first, I wasn't sure if I would love it, but I did love it. You have to be absolutely in the moment. You can go, I mean, I plan my classes. I think about it. I think about what my students need, but still I need to get into the class and figure out on my feet what they need. And each student is different and each student is progressing at their own rate. So not only am I trying to think like a big idea, but also for the individual. Okay, they're not getting that. Why aren't they getting that? What do I need to say? So a lot of teaching is a certain amount of self-assessment. Like, okay, that didn't work. Boy, that really fell flat. What am I gonna say? How am I gonna make this work? Do, do they need me to touch them? Do I need to put my hands on their waist so they feel how to keep that waist supported? Do I need to only say it? You know, how, how do I get at it? Do I use an image? All of that is what I love about teaching. I want them to dance for themselves from the inside out. So, you know, I don't want them to dance to please me. It has nothing to do with it. I don't need them to dance for me. I can still dance for myself. So what it is is that they need to sort of catch what it is I'm teaching it, teaching to them and translate it into their own bodies. So I, I want them to become their own artist, their own dancer, their own choreographer. I never stopped wanting to move. You know, I mean, people who are dancers, they've kind of got this kinetic appetite. They, they like to be moving. It's very hard for me to sit still. So I still want to dance, I still want to be moving, um, and just watching the students progress. I'm there to say yes, no, work on this, got to read this, but basically they're solving that themselves, communicating that themselves, and it's one of the things that I really believe about dancers. They learn how to be collaborative, they learn how to work for consensus, they learn how to dance in unison, work in unison, solve problems. Um, and all of those skills, what's interesting to me about dance is that it's an art form, but it's also kind of a life practice. My name is Janet Lilly, and I am a professor and the head of dance at UNCG.